after Mr. Anderson cracked the nut and the children ate the pieces inside, they heard a sound from the direction of the house. Mm. Mm. What's that? asked the cowboy. Mr. Anderson laughed. It's the big gong Mrs. Anderson uses when she wants me to come in for supper. I can hear it even when I'm in the back pasture. Millie ran to the door of the barn to see. A boy is hitting it, she said. Mrs. Anderson must have asked him to, said Mr. Anderson. I'll bet Ann's surprise is ready. I hope you and the cowboy will come and see what the surprise is. We will, said Millie and the cowboy together. Millie and the cowboy started toward the house with Mr. Anderson and the other children. Wait, said Mr. Anderson. I hear a mother's sheep calling for her lamb. That baby lamb must have wandered off again. We'll have to find it before we go into the house. All the children ran off in different directions to look for the lamb. After a while, one of Mr. Anderson's boys came back with a lamb in his arms. The lamb was calling its mother. Ah, 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 ah. Now we can go in, said Mr. Anderson. Millie and the cowboy started toward the house again. When they reached the kitchen of the farmhouse, they found two of Anne's friends working very hard. Greg Sikora was washing dishes at the sink. Rick Kratz was on his knees with a scrub brush and a pail of soapy water. We're cleaning up for Ann's party, Rick told him. Someone tracked mud across the floor. Oh dear, said Nellie. Maybe we did. I'm sorry. It's all right, said Rick. He started to scrub the floor. Anderson's living room, several children were watching the Dr. Grant show on TV. Dr. Grant was looking down a boy's throat. Say, ah, said Dr. Grant. Ah, said the boy. Ah. Mr. Anderson entered the living room. Where's Ann's surprise, he asked. The children turned off the TV and trooped into the dining room. On the table in the dining room was a big birthday cake with roses round the edge and Anne's name written on it in pink icing. All the children thought the cake was beautiful. Anne, of course, was happiest of all. After everyone had a piece, bottles of soda pop were passed around. As each child opened his bottle of pop, he could hear the sound, Ks. Soon the room was full of the sound, 